Are you comfortable being alone? Are you comfortable being by yourself? Do you need people there all the time? A lot of people in this space will tell you that it's good to be alone and other people in this space will tell you it's terrible. But deep down, a lot of us want a person there to make us feel valued or people there to make us feel valued. And we can kind of overlook the fact by saying we're comfortable by ourselves or I'm good enough by myself instead of actually looking at our life and understanding there's benefits to having people there as well. As much as you can grow an exceptional amount being by yourself, we also need a good social side as well. We also need to be a bit social as well. Otherwise, we're going to lose a lot of the beauty that we actually have in life with other people and even with our own connection with ourself and who we view ourselves as. But there will be periods where you do need to be alone to grow. You will need to be away from people to grow who you are as a person and to truly understand yourself as a person. Understand who you truly want to be, where you truly want to be. In 2020, leading into 2021, I was very reserved unto myself and almost really insecure to the point I locked myself away from my friends that I used to have because my mental health was in a terrible place. I locked myself away from people who used to be in my life because my mental health was in a rubbish place, a terrible place. And I remember this very vividly because I had friends who wanted to see me and wanted to speak to me and I would be so afraid of interacting with them to the point as when we started going out again in 2021 because obviously COVID and all this and then we just went out to the park or whatever, I forgot how to talk to people because I was so alone and so reserved. I forgot how to speak to people. I forgot how to interact with people. And this overall crushed me in a real sense. And I almost remember as well, when I went out with my mates, we went to a restaurant in town for one of their birthdays. I couldn't even speak to a group of my friends that I knew for quite a bit of time, for quite a few years, quite like five years, something like that. I couldn't even speak to them because I was so insecure and so locked off. And I was so alone by myself for so long. I viewed people as the enemy. I viewed interacting with people as the enemy. And this ties into the video in the sense that I'm speaking about, is it good to be alone or no? Is it good to be by yourself? But the real reality is you need to be by yourself for periods of time. You need to be by yourself for periods of time to build yourself up into someone you're proud of. And then you can start socializing a little bit. But also if there's things you want to achieve, you got to understand the importance of you being alone as well because we need this side as well. The biggest thing in my life, I would say, on an overall perspective that has really helped me is being comfortable by myself to the point I don't need people around me all the time. Because I know people, we need people around them all the time and it crushes them as a person. And it crushes them on a real level because they need people, they need validation, they need this. Where in comparison me, I'm very grateful and happy for myself now because of the amount of people I've had come and go in my life. And it's like, you have different periods where you have no people in your life, there are loads of people. For example, right now, I've got loads of people back in my life again out of nowhere, where before I didn't have many people. And it seems like every few months it changes, every month, two months, one month, I'll have no one. Next month, I'll have like three, four, five different people coming back, want to do this, want to do this, girls, all this shit. And on a real level, it's almost you being grateful and happy in yourself that matters more. There's no shame in taking away time from people to help yourself. But also, if you can't attract the people you want in your life, don't be afraid to literally focus on yourself. Don't be afraid to focus on you. Don't be afraid. My lips are so dry, but don't be afraid to focus on you because you are the priority at the end of the day. People will put themselves over you. So don't be afraid to spend time on yourself. Don't be afraid to look at yourself and think, oh shit, I need to better me. I need to make myself happy in myself. And this is the biggest lesson you can learn from losing people as well. You need to understand that you need this stuff to go wrong in order for you to help you. You need this stuff. If you don't have this going wrong, you can't focus on yourself. And sometimes you've got to focus inward instead of outward. Sometimes we put too much focus on helping people or going out or doing this thing. If we go out tonight, that'll fill that void. I might be able to get with a random girl who I don't care about. And you focus externally, externally. Oh, I might be able to find a girl. Oh, this, this, oh, me, this, this alcohol, this drug might help me tonight. Oh my God. And then you look outward and never truly look inward to see what's going wrong in yourself and if you're truly happy in yourself. Because a lot of times when you're truly grateful and happy in yourself, you don't want to look outside of yourself too much because you understand the gratitude is within. 
the gratitude for the things you have now is within and you don't need all this external shit you don't need drugs you don't need alcohol you don't need all this bollocks to help you and you can use it whenever you want in a sense but it doesn't define you as a person and you, you're not reliant on it like some people are and i want you lot to just understand that it's okay to be alone for periods of time but don't stay there too long have a bit of a social life here or there i recommend going out once or twice a month once or twice a month i recommend whether that's going out for drinks with mates whether that's going to a club or whatever i recommend that because that seems to be a perfect balance for me if i go out once or twice a month i look forward to it and i'm truly grateful and happy for it and that's a beautiful thing especially when you're working on stuff and you've got work and then you've got other stuff on the side that you're trying to work on and then gym all this stuff and then your family life and your social life you've got to have different times to dedicate towards it and you need a bit of it you can't just completely neglect your social life i've done that before and i'd be lying if i said i wasn't extremely lonely i was extremely lonely when i done that but it obviously got me to who i am now so there is beauty in it you do need time by yourself you do need to look at yourself in the mirror and think am i truly happy with me if i got rid of these people around me now these drugs this alcohol would i be truly happy with myself if i got rid of these girls who are around me would i be truly happy with myself ask yourself that and then think if not, I need to do some inner work on myself. Am I truly happy with the position and what I'm trying to go towards in my life? Am I? And if you ask yourself that, and then you work towards that, and you understand that you're not in a position where you want to be, then you need to understand you need time alone to truly know where you want to be and truly know what you want to work on and to truly work on that stuff because no one's going to do it for you. No one's going to do it for you. So the consensus, the overall message in this video is going to be, if you're not where you want to be as a person, you need to focus inward on yourself and you need to almost understand that you need to work on stuff for yourself as a person. If you're not where you want to be, you need to understand it's only you who can work towards that. And that will mean being alone for periods of time. But also don't overall completely just neglect your social side because that's going to crush your reality in a sense. And you're going to become too withdrawn. Like I did in the past 2020, 2021, I was too withdrawn until I started going out again. I was too withdrawn to the point I couldn't interact with people and I viewed people as the enemy. I viewed everyone as enemies. I, I hated everyone. I'm like, oh, don't talk to me. I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. To the point I was at college not speaking to anyone. To the point I'd go out with my friends and not feel confident to speak to them, which is crazy, you know? The only thing I'd do then pretty much until we started going out again was literally speak to them on Xbox, but that's completely different because I like music in the background. I'd be playing a game and you could just speak about that, you know? When in reality, when you're like drinking a drink, you got to interact with that person, you know, when you're sat having some food you've got to interact with that person if that makes sense and that's why i want you lot to know just understand there is periods of time that you do need to be alone you need to be alone in this life as well at times to truly understand yourself and to understand where you want to be and to look at your life objectively and say am i where i want to be no do i need to change that yes what do i need to do to change that i need to work on this work on this work on this and dedicate time for yourself but also don't be afraid to go out every now and again be around friends, go to this thing, especially if you're doing well and you're working hard and you're trying. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit of time here or there, maybe going out with your mates one night, going out with your mates once or twice a month or seeing someone once or twice a month. Don't be afraid to do that. Let's say if you've got a girl in your life, seeing them on the night every now and again. You know what I mean? Like maybe once or twice a week. Not overdoing it to a ridiculous amount, but if you're getting everything you need to done and you're truly moving forward for yourself as a person, that's going to help you. And that's going to be the overall message in this video. You need periods of time alone and that will allow you to grow as a person. But don't neglect the social side too much. Make sure there's a little bit of balance in there and make sure you're able to be around people or be around this thing to truly help you and to truly move you forward. And that's going to be the overall message. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for all love recently. Turn notifications on as well, please. Thank you.